All right, we're back for another sprite tutorial. This one is about using variables um, to keep score. Now, for variables, first, first of all, I've started. We've got the scratch, scratch cat here, and basically the idea is a little tag game. So he's trying to tag the duck. Now, this will be pretty easy because the duck's not going to be moving, but you'll get the idea for the scoring. So in data, that's where we're going to make a variable. So we're going to make a variable, and I'm going to call it score. Pretty creative there. Now, I always do it for all sprites. I haven't found a lot of reasons to do it for only a single sprite, um, and it could work for the single sprite in this case, but I'm going to keep it for all sprites. Um, now, it automatically sets you up with some blocks. The first one I would always use kind of to initialize things for set score to zero or set score to something else if you're doing a countdown, whatever. But I will start it at zero. Now, I already have this set up where if it touches the duck, then something will happen. Right now, I'm going to make it change score by one. So I'm going to put that in there. So already, we've got it. So the score is just a random variable that basically it's in here. Um, because this is checked, it kind of puts the score up there. So sometimes that's just a great thing to keep in there. It's a very simple scoreboard right there. So, um, and you can, by the way, make that disappear or appear with these. So right now, if it touches the duck, then it should work as far as changing the score by one. So let's see it happen. Here we go. It's running and watch the score. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think I just set a high score there. Now, if I run it again, it should set it back to zero because of that. But um, we kind of have a problem there. Now, this is a pretty common problem in all actuality. The problem is that it's changing the score, but it's continuing to touch the duck there. So every time it goes through this loop, it adds another one. You can see how fast it goes through these loops. So what I would recommend is when it touches the duck to also do something to get it so it's no longer touching the duck, such as having it move back to here is one option. So I'm going to do a, well, I'll move a little bit. I'm going to do a go to there, and then we'll change the score. So make them go to first, then change the score. And hopefully that will make things a little bit better as far as uh, one at a time. So here we go. He moves back. Now the score is only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, I'm good at this game. Now, eventually you want a game to end. So what I would recommend is kind of another if then in here to check for a certain score. So we'll say if, and this is where we get in, get to use these variables. So it's kind of cool. I'm going to, in the operators, I'm going to use an equals. You could use a greater than in some cases, but equals will work for this. And I basically want to say if the score equals let's say five. So I'm going to put five in here. Now, I can't just type in the word score because that is actually the letters S-C-O-R-E compared to this variable. So I'm going to drag this. Anytime you have it, this little bubble like this, that's a variable. So I'm going to drag that in there. So if score equals five, then something's going to happen. And in this case, I am going to have it change backgrounds because I've already set up a nice little background. So switch the backdrop to uh, backdrop one is actually what I want it to be. So let's see if this works. So it will always be checking this and it'll be checking this, um, but it'll only do what's inside when those things are true. So when it's touching the duck or when the score finally gets to five. So let's see what happens. It should start back at zero because we have that in there, the initializing. So we have one, two, three, four. OK, ready for this. On five. Da, 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 da. That is my other background. Congratulations. And just by watching this video, you are a winner. So hopefully you learned a little bit here. As far as using the score, you could use it for many other things. You could have a countdown in change, instead of change the score by one. You could have a change the score by negative one if you started with a certain number. So great way to use variables. Um, great way to start with variables. Hope you learned something. There you go.